Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Terry completely makes sense. I agree with this choice. I agree with this choice entirely. Um, now that this has started, I didn't want to say it beforehand. Uh, Asdast has told me before he thinks this is Olimar's worst matchup or one of the worst. That being said, I do know that Asdast has played Terry a fair few amount of times before. I know Owls is saying that he just wants to go home, uh, but personally, I would love to see Owls make a deep run. I want to see Owls versus Lannan. That's one of the matchups I've been uh, wanting to see for him. Ever since I started going to East Tennessee. All right, good DI from Mike, able to survive that Buster Wolf. Uh, this has been a very quick paced game so far, and people may be surprised, but Asdast actually plays a very aggressive Olimar. It can be difficult to tell because, you know, Olimar, by virtue of how he plays, is trying to play at a certain distance at all times. Fantastic conversion into the Buster Wolf there. But that's 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 kind of the thing, right? Just because he's playing a little bit keep away, he's playing outside of your range, doesn't mean he's not playing aggressive. Asdast is always the aggressor. He's always the one who's swinging first. Yeah, that is a lot of Buster Wolves, man. Owls is, Owls is disrespecting this man. This is... Okay. Feeling yourself a little too much, buddy. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. It's for the content, it's for the content. Alright, great confirm. Alright. Very solid lead. Uh, this is absolutely kill percent if Terry can find, you know, a good read. Great wait from Owls Dash there on the ledge. Might be able to get something started here. I wonder if he messed it up, maybe meant to go into a rising tackle, or maybe just couldn't confirm it. Okay. Mike's at least able to avoid the kill for quite a while, which is really good. And he's racking on enough percents where he can conceivably kill pretty soon. Like if he's able to, yeah, if he was able to hit that, if he's able to get a dare off stage, anything like that. That being said, he's reactivated the go meter, which means that Owls will be spamming uh, Buster Wolf once more. I'm excited to see what power geyser shenanigans he has on his sleeve as well. Yeah, shield poke, I believe. Uh, pretty difficult to get around. Pretty unassailable situation. Are you okay? Alright, Asdast able to avoid the Buster Wolf that time. Building up a solid amount of percent. Mike hasn't been able to find the kill chip yet, but that'll do it. Great awareness of the frame data there. Just putting Owls in uh, a, a bit of a guessing game. And you know, against Olimar, it's pretty easy to guess wrong. Okay, this could be a great low percent strength. Asdast is very good at those. I think it's his greatest quality as an Olimar player. He's got those strengths online. Yeah, and this game is basically back to even, and now it is in Asdast's favor for Sinewise. And honestly, he's not going to have that hard of a time finding the kill. I think the Pikmin actually aiding Owls a lot there. They extended his hitbox, so I think Owls, um, or I think Asdast was just ready for the uh, the normal up B, um, but got caught off guard by how long the hitbox was active. That being said, Asdast able to bring that one back after kind of being in the, uh, the passenger seat for the entire game, able to bring it back to a game one victory. Going to Hollow Bastion, a favorite stage of Owls. Stop the battle! Terry Bolivar! So this stage definitely makes sense for this matchup. Um, you think of smaller stage, you think of uh, it's easier to get in in general. There's a lot of great qualities for this stage um, for a character like Terry. Uh, now I will say again, because of the way that Mike plays, I don't think he's gonna mind the smaller stature of the stage as much. I do think the blast zones are gonna be great for Terry. But I've also seen Mike play on this stage a fair amount of times. I know he is, uh, no stranger to this stage. I know he kind of likes this stage, so I'm not expecting him to get. Uh, I'm not expecting the tides to change too drastically just because of the stage choice. 
Ooh, able to secure an early stock with an unconventional option there. I quite like that, actually. A little bit of Myron desync there. wonder if that was intentional. I know my, uh, my goes for those intentionally sometimes. And that is 59% uh, off of uh, the Reaper neutral. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty solid for a character. Like it is funny how much um, Terry's super special moves don't even seem like that uh, that crazy anymore. That'll take another stock very quickly. Owl's making the absolute most out of his go meter and out of his first stock in general. But as that's able to stop that, put a stop to it right there. He says, come on, meet me on the field like a normal character. <laughs> you don't get any extra special moves, not right now. Okay. Able to get that grab even after the spot dodge. Great facet of Olimar's grab. Honestly, even though I'm pretty sure that Owls doesn't have any experience in this matchup, I think he does have a pretty good understanding of what he's supposed to do. There's definitely scenarios in which he's like a little unprepared, not expecting what Mike's going to do next. But like, he understands what makes this matchup really good for Terry. Yeah, absolutely. Join in. Uh, we got DJ Arya hopping on the mic. So we got a 1-1 uh, one -one set so far. With, I believe, Owl's fourth character of the day. Yo, who dat? Yo, it's Knoxville Tim. Hi. I'm trying to remember who Knox Tim is, and if I've met him before. I, I'm sure I've seen him in Twitch chats before. But, uh, right, we're taking it to small battlefield. This, I think, is Mike's favorite stage. We always start here, and we always... He likes FD as well, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him, I've seen him counterpick Kazuya to FD and win. He, he told um, me he'll do it. <laughs> Uh, he, um, he Why would you say that? There's Owls. someone who might play Kazuya right here. I don't know if we do it on. He's not all, the, all the FGC players play all the FGC. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, last time he fought uh, Shaw, he... Or, I don't know if it was the last time he fought Shaw. But I remember at one of the monthlies, he was down 2-0, and then um, started counterpicking to FD in one. <laughs> the set. Chad move. And, like, Shaw kept running it back there, because obviously it's, it's Kazuya on FD. Alright, so uh, I was mentioning before, uh, from what Mike has told me, this is one of Olimar's worst matchups. Okay. Was game one Terry as well? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure that the rationale behind it is, um, Terry can just mash and kill Pikmin instantly. Uh, you get the kill confirms really easily because of Olimar's weight, and you don't really get the opportunity to whistle out of them, which is pretty crucial for Olimar in a lot of matchups. And of course, you know, dies early. I know that's like the, the standard, haha, Terry kills that one early, but... Yeah. Uh, this is the DI check on that. Yeah. Also, uh, game one, I'm pretty sure Owls hit Buster Wolf four times in one stock. So, I just want you to know that. How much does Buster Wolf do again? Like, like 20 something, 20, 20, yeah. Yeah, he did 59% uh, off of one neutral win in game two. So, that's like half the ultimate cast. Yeah. But I still think it's worth mentioning. It's I, a like good how, I like how he down tilted the one purple and then just retreated. Yeah, you know, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a mix-up. Question mark. That was wow. a really smart idea. Wow, that that worked out exceptionally for him. Yeah, this is how game two went too. I think I think Alice is starting to kind of get the download, whether it's on the player, the matchup, or both. He's, he's really calling out Mike's defensive habits and not letting Mike get a good lineup of Pikmin. Not That's what I was about to say. He's not letting Mike like get the lineup he wants. He's absolutely running him down, and I think that's another good facet. Terry has such good mobility that he's able to just run in, push buttons in your face, not care that much about the consequences, you know? He can go for trades. He can afford to go for trades. He can shield grab that, apparently. I didn't expect that to work. I love seeing Terry in the game because it lets the FGC players, like, play a character with good mobility, and you really get to see that shine. Yeah, I agree. I actually really think, I think Terry is one of the um, coolest DLC characters, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. I think, I think he might be my second favorite uh, DLC character, like, uh, and, uh, from a competitive sense. Joker is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Joker is my favorite, and my second favorite uh, will not be agreed upon by anyone. Okay, fair it's enough. It's not Steve. Okay, fair enough. Are you a, yeah, I know you're not a Min Min fan. Are you a Kazuya Mishima fan? He's my third favorite. Okay, fair enough. Hero. No. Uh, fun. Who's lame? Who's the Who's DLC lame? character that everyone's like, this character is lame? Min Min! Well, Sora. Another one. How have you not named them yet? I don't remember who was DLC. Saying them should give it away. Okay. Uh, 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 but Aegis, yeah. <laughs> no! No! Sorry. What? 
I don't know. There's Piranha an, Plant. There's another one. The, Hero. The, them. Okay. Banjo. Yes, you play them! But they're lame. <laughs> I don't like Banjo. I love Banjo. <laughs> banjo is very funny. See, I just love the Banjo Kazooie games too much to ever think that character's lame. Like, <coughs> I like the character of Banjo too much. <coughs> I saw it the wrong way. Um, Conquer was my most wanted platform character. God, I wanted Conquer. Can you man. imagine? They have to raise the uh, age of the game. They got banned out of the game. They yeah, that's Conquer true. Work. I like that Bayonetta is more objectionable than Snake, and like obviously she is, but I, I just I appreciate that that is the case. It's pretty funny. This is a great story, but um, back when they were doing the last Smash 4 character reveal, at the start when they were saying like um, game like the DLC rated like E10 to T or whatever, I saw that and I was like, oh, I think it's gonna be Bayonetta based off of that. Yeah. Because I was like, oh yeah, she probably upped the game's rating. Ultimate's E10, right? Yes. Man, if it was T. I think Brawl was T, and new every other game Brawl is Brawl was. Oh my god, that shield broke. Uh, this might be a kill. Oh, no, that wasn't even close. Okay, no. that was a kill. That was a kill. We that should have been a kill because it was the weak hit, right? Yeah. That might have been intentional by Mike, actually. That's interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if Mike has lapped that out before. But it could have also just been he was in the right scenario at the right time. Oh, wow, this is such a different story from what we've seen. Even game one. Um, as Des won kind of like last minute, he was playing from behind the, the whole first game. He's really like downloaded something here. Oh, figured something out. That he just threw the... Oh, he doesn't want to give him go, so he threw the uh -huh. the white. Yep. Okay, this could be scary. Owls needs two, three neutral wins to, uh, you know, put this back in even his favor. You can tell how... Get the kill here, get him off stage, and not do it by adding anyone. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But it might cost uh, he him. Gave here. Up that, that, that yeah. Okay. It was it was costing him. He took so much damage off of uh, trying to get like the perfect scenario. And That's now he's gonna be losing his stock for it, yeah. Can you ask the I feel like you guys the Oh, oh. Alright, alright, alright. Even Steven's going into last stock game four. Is that true? Purple? Throwing a grab at zero? Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I was playing Mike last week and I got hit by both down smashes and it was like a purple and a red. And I yeah. took like 40. Yep, yep. Mike gets that uh, occasionally. I remember getting hit by that for the first time. The worst is getting hit by both hits of Falcons. Yeah, yeah, that, that sucks. Oh, oh, okay. Good whistle from Mike. Good disadvantage in general. Alright. He wants to keep Terry from landing and establishing stage this control is, so bad, but he's not able to do it. That might that. be it. I don't... Yeah. Okay. Unfortunate. Owls continues to rep Tennessee as their deepest rep into the bracket. Owls, I need to see you fight 